Welcome back to AgriTalk, Decatur, Illinois. Farm Progress Show preview series brought to you by Syngenta. Well, we've talked a lot about the crops in this area. They look good, but they're not as far along as uh, folks would like to see them, especially if you're trying to harvest at the end of August for the Farm Progress Show. And joining us now, host farmer David Bricks, who uh, joins us with this uh, wrinkled brow as you uh, look out there. I mean, they do look good. The corn, beans, even the wheat, it looks good. It's just not as far along as you would like here mid to late June. No, everything looks excellent. I mean, you know, especially if we was 30 days earlier, we'd really be smiling, but we're not. So, but, uh, you know, overall crop prospects are still great. It's just, you know, we, we like to have everything ready here at the show site so we can put on a good show. Well, yeah, when you're trying to be ready by the end of August, that, that is indeed a challenge. Now, I was asking you, uh, you know, when we talked last, you'd just gotten everything in. Did you have to do much replanting? Uh, we had about 3% all just uh, on corn. We didn't have any replant on beans. Uh, nothing on replant on the show stuff. It got all in and got up. So so it's all, you know, it's all planted. We planted it, I think it was the 10th of May. So, uh, you know, it, that's about uh, 35 days later than what we like. But but uh, we didn't have much replant on it. Right now, you just need some warm weather. We need some hot sunshine. We don't need these 70 degree days. But it sounds like we're going to get quite a few of them this week. But maybe next week it's going to warm up. Talked earlier with Bob Lawless with uh, Syngenta about uh, some disease and insect uh, challenges around the state. What are you finding here? Uh, we've had nothing as of right now. You know, we have, we've been scouting and just weed pressure is the only thing we got mainly right now in, in our immediate areas is, uh, and we can't get in and get them, you know, spraying has been difficult. It's either been 30 mile an hour winds or rain. So, but that's our biggest challenge right now. Yeah, we've had wind, which at times has kind of helped dry things out, which has been needed, but can be a challenge if you're wanting to do some spraying. Yes, that's that, and and then with all the rain, then of course having wet ground, and then we're trying to get all these parking lots done with the hay, and of course, cloudy, rainy weather don't make good haymaking weather either. It has indeed it been a challenge. So, uh, what would you say? You you 30 days behind, or what would you say you are? Yeah, every bit of 30 days. I you know, as in the calendar, when we was 30 days behind, and we've done, you know, we've done just enough to keep up. We haven't got ahead since we got it planted. You know, 40 days ago, we were still just staying right on course, so I would say we're a month behind. Uh, we talked earlier about the weed management. It, it, it's tough with these kind of conditions. Yeah, everything's, you know, it's tough on your on your uh, psyche trying to keep your chin up and keep everything going and, and get the hay made and get the wheat done and, and everything because, like I said, you know, we we love to be able to harvest crops during the show and... and uh, and that's an important part of it, and you know, it's out of our hands. Nothing we can do. You did catch a break, I guess, this past weekend. I live, you know, about a little over an hour west of here, where we got up to 10, 12 inches of rain. Fortunately, you missed that. Yeah, we've had uh, we've had some pretty bad hail up just north of here, but other than that, we're in, been in really good shape. We've just had adequate rain. We've had a lot of tents, you know, quarter inch, half inch. We've had a lot of little rains, but nothing on a big major scale for the last three weeks or so, three or four weeks. So, uh, you know, we are sitting in a pretty good spot right here. Uh, Rain-wise, it's just getting enough, you know, to keep everything wet, but it's also keeping everything looking good. Does this remind you of two years ago? It's uh, it's pretty reminiscent of two years ago, except we have had uh, a few more warmer days than we did in 09. In 09, uh, first week, uh, and by the middle of June, we had about five days where it just scorched 95 to 100 degrees. And then from then on, we never had another 90 degree day. So we have had warmer weather this last 40 days. We've had a lot of rain, but we've also had a lot more. So, you know, it's similar in one aspect with the wetness, but with the temperatures, we have been a little bit better which gives some hope for the next two months. I mean, we have seen here in recent weeks how the corn responds when it does warm up, and we had some days up in the 90s. Yeah, you know, 2010 was, was another thing. In, in June, we had 14 inches of rain. You know, it was kind of this similar overcast, rainy all the time. And then, you know, once July hit, we hit sun, and, and you know, basically by showtime last year with our full season corn, we was harvesting first of September. So anything's possible.
every every year is a, a new challenge. Certainly, now you mentioned the wheat. Uh, so, and while this isn't a huge wheat area, I mean, still there is some wheat, and it's looking good. Yeah, it's looking excellent. You know, it's 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 ahead of schedule too. I've been hearing, you know, somewhere six to eight days ahead of schedule. I would say we're pretty good on that too. I tested some uh, Monday night, and it was tested about 22. So, you know, uh, another week, 10 days, or whatever. We're hoping maybe next week we'll get into it and get some done and get some straw, and then go ahead and get some double crop in. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about beans. Uh, they're short, but they're they still look pretty good. Yeah, they you know they're right where they need to be. Just they're only a, maybe a couple weeks behind, but but uh, uh, germination was good. Stands are good. You know where you didn't have some low areas, but but uh, you know the, they're not. We're not near as concerned about the, uh, the beans are we are the corn. You mentioned double crop, and hopefully the weather will, will allow you to get in and double crop when you take uh, the wheat off. Yeah, it's a lot easier to make that decision to. Uh, take the risk of a double crop when you got $13 beans too, you know, <laughs> you know, it's kind of a no brainer, get it off as soon as you can, take a chance and put it out there. What you get, you get, you know, and like I said, $13 beans, that's, that's, uh, even if you make 20 bushel, that's still pretty good. Yeah, that, that's the other side. You kind of wear two hats. I mean, you want crops ready for the show, but you also want crops uh, ready for when they're ready for uh, harvesting and take advantage of some of these prices. Yeah, absolutely. You know, everybody's, you know, you got the show, 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 but you still got to remember it's working farm and we still are, you know, got to do everything we can to do the best, you know, for the family. Now, what's your schedule here throughout the summer other than worrying about the weather, which you, you can't do much about, but what are some of the things you can do something about? What, how do you prepare for the show? Well, experience is the best thing. I mean, just, you know, year number four, so everything everything has gotten so much easier, you know. Uh, the trust is so much better. You know, you can do things now where before, you know, everybody was kind of like, well, sh you know, should we do this or could we have him do this or whatever. So, you know, we all know, you know, what's going on. Like we say every year, it's just, you know, repetition has been so much nicer than, uh, than in 2005 because that was, you know, that learning experience and the struggle. It was it's so much nicer now. You mentioned uh, it, there's the show, which you're concerned about, but also it's a farm too. So you're you're trying to balance those two things. Yeah, and we're trying to build a new house this summer. So all right, built on to the house, we're moving to the farm this year. So that's we throw that in too, and then trying to do a custom hay business and and everything else. So uh, uh, you know, wife and two teenage daughters. So that, that, that you throw everything together, it's a pretty hectic year. You, your hair is hanging in there pretty good then, considering all that, I would say. You know, uh, for those with hay, it's it's been a challenge there, too, uh, to get enough uh, uh, good hay weather. Yeah, we're only probably about halfway done with first cut. I mean, we got, you know, all the west parking out here. We just finally knocked some of it down yesterday. You know, it's, Grandpa always told me when a front comes through, mow hay, even if it gets wet, because you're going to have four or five days to get it up. So it looks like we, you know, it might have been the right thing to do. But, but we got to get it off because, you know, we're talking every 30-day cuts. And if you look in the calendar, the show's about 65 days away, so that puts us pretty close on getting two more cuts in before the show time. Well, good luck to you, and uh, we'll be back next month, and we'll try to bring some warmer weather at that time. Uh, uh, it seems like every time you guys come, it's, it's in the 70s and sunny, but uh, 70s and stuff, so maybe next time bring some of that heat. We'll try to work on that. Thanks, David. Uh, host farmer David Brooks here at the Farm Progress Show. That wraps it up for our Farm Progress Show preview series. Our program is brought to you by Syngenta. We will be back here on site again next month as we get ever closer. And as we heard from Matt Youngman, uh, things will really start picking up here after the 4th of July. And we also remind you, coming up uh, starting next month, we will have a new series called the uh, Farm Progress Show Flashback. We'll look back at uh, some of the memories of past Farm Progress shows. Thanks for being with us. Dr. Lori with us tomorrow. Thanks for being with us on AgriTalk, the voice of rural America.